Hey guys, Matt here. This is going to be a little video on the Obama-Romney debate tonight. Uh, now it's Tuesday night. This is, of course, the second de presidential debate between the two of them. Uh, I'm not going to go over the whole debate. That's not what this is about. Um, this is about one particular topic that they discussed in the debate. Uh, overall, the debate, uh, Romney went back to looking like the douchebag I always thought he was, and Obama came off looking better than he did in the first one, but still looking like the douchebag I always thought he was, basically is what it boiled down to. But about an hour and 10 minutes or so, about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes into the, uh, the debate, um, the topic of guns and, and assault weapons and rifles and gun laws and all this stuff popped up. Um, and it, was, it started by uh, uh, Obama getting asked a question, something along the lines of, what do you intend to do about gun violence and uh, AK-47s on the streets and in the hands of criminals? Now... His first, uh, well, he, he rambled on for about five minutes, but throughout the course of that, he made a few points. Well, the first point that, that caught my attention was that he said, the, the thing I hear everybody say, both on, on Republicans and Democrats and NRA and anti-gun and all this stuff, they always throw this catch-all response is that we need to enforce current gun laws. Well, I'm going to tell you what, guys, we do enforce current gun laws, okay? We try going to a gun dealer and buying a gun without a license. Uh, or without filling out paperwork. Ain't gonna happen. Go ask your FFL dealer if he would ever sell a gun without proper paperwork or, or doing the proper things. And they're gonna say, hell no, I don't want to end up in jail for the rest of my life, okay? We enforce the current gun laws. People stop spreading this crap around that we don't enforce current gun laws. We enforce every single current gun law, all right? We just, we do. We got the ATF there threatening people, making sure that all the gun laws are enforced, okay? So that's a stupid catch-all thing. I hate it when people say it. Both sides of the aisle talk that crap. It's ridiculous and it's redundant and doesn't mean doesn't mean anything. Next thing he says, and he and you can see him hesitate when he does this. He kind of tilts his head down a little bit. He looks down. Uh, he, you can see him thinking to himself, should I say this or not? And then he goes ahead and he says it. And he says, one of the things we need to do is reinstate the assault weapons ban. So right there, publicly, he has come out and said, we need to reinstate the assault weapons ban. So now it is no longer just something that uh, the Democratic National Committee came out and said is part of their 2012 platform. Now the president has come out and said this is something he wants to do. Now whether or not he actually can do it or does end up doing it is a different story, but now we know he wants to. The third thing he said, which I, I thought was, again, ridiculous, um, is that we need to get automatic weapons off the streets and out of the hands of criminals. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the only people I know of with automatic weapons, and I live close to the border, okay, uh, are, are people with money who are just there to burn some cash and they want to just have fun with their guns and whatever. Um, most criminals do not have access to fully automatic weapons. They are ridiculously expensive, hard to find, usually have to be special ordered, that's not, guys, automatic weapons on the streets, okay, unless you live in Mexico, is not something you need to be concerned with. It just doesn't happen. Most crimes are committed with pistols and shotguns and things that would not even be affected by any kind of assault weapons ban, okay, period. So that's a ridiculous statement. Then the last thing Obama said, which really gets me, is that, uh, you know, he believes in the Second Amendment and our right to keep and bear arms and hunting and, and sports and, you know, sporting, sport shooting and all this stuff. Um, but that uh, civilians, I'm paraphrasing here, but that civilians shouldn't have weapons that were designed to be in the hands of soldiers, okay? Weapons that were designed to, to kill and weapons that were designed for war and all this stuff. We as civilians shouldn't have those types of weapons. Let me make something clear. From the most modern of weapons, okay, from the AK-47, the AR-15, what have you, all the way back to the very first black powder rifles, blunderbusses, and all that stuff, and everything in between, like lever actions, and bolt actions, and revolvers, okay, they were all designed to be in the hands of soldiers, period. Every gun was. Guns were not designed, they were not invented for hunting purposes or sporting purposes. They were designed to be in the hands of soldiers, so to sit there like an idiot and say, well, you can have guns, you just shouldn't have any guns that were designed to be in the hands of soldiers, is retarded, okay? President Obama, you're a fucking idiot. You obviously know nothing about gun laws, you know nothing about guns, and you want an assault weapons ban. Then Romney comes along to rebuttal. Now, he goes on for a few minutes to spill out some more BS, which is just, you know, talking points from the NRA that I'm sure they gave him. Um, don't really care about any of that, but one thing he did say was that, well... I don't know why Obama wants to get rid of automatic weapons. Automatic weapons are already illegal. Uh, Mr. Romney, douchebag, they are not illegal. They simply require either a special license or a tax stamp 
to own. Just like a car isn't illegal, but you're supposed to have a license to drive it, same thing, okay? Fully automatic weapons are not illegal, period. So again, Romney doesn't know the law, Obama doesn't know the law, neither one of them apparently know guns very well, and Obama wants an assault weapons ban. Basically, that's what it boils down to, guys. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below to the, uh, the video of the debate. You guys check it out. Again, it's about a minute and 10, or excuse me, an hour and 10 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes in where they start talking about that. But um, anyway, that's it, guys. Questions, comments, video responses, send them my way. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.